Hello, welcome to Drupal Over Easy. My name's Nigel. In this tutorial, we're going to be building our own video gallery. Let me just show you the demo. Okay, here's the, and this is not the site, here's, here's the site with the demo here. So basically, I've just created a gallery with thumbnails that point to videos. They, they happen to point to YouTube, but it could be Vimeo, it could be Dailymotion. Um, I believe this supports all the major video hosting companies out there. So what happens if we click on one of these thumbnails? Uh, we get an overlay box pop up. And with the video to play, and you just set, select play, and you can play videos to your heart's delight, delight on your own website. Okay, I'll just close that. So if you're interested on building your own video gallery to run on Drupal 7, follow the rest of this tutorial and I'll show you how. Okay, let's just drop back to DrupalOverEasy.com. This is the reference material here. I'd actually been looking out for a video field, just a field that I could just attach um, videos to. I've been waiting for ages and I forgot about it until I stumbled across this video embedded field here. And I'll just select on it here and it's, it's a straightforward field. You just add to your content type and it's got some nice integrations with views. And it also integrates with what we call the color box module, which is a light box module. That's the module that gives you the black overlay on top of your website just to highlight either your photos or in this case, your video. And if we scroll on down here, we see that it's got built-in support for the video embedded field, as well as a lot of others, other media modules as well. So um, I like the sound of this. It's been designed for um, Drupal 7 exclusively for it and it's had a lot of downloads as well so it's been very popular so and after trying it it was intuitive it was easy it was lightweight so I didn't feel I had to look any further um, look to, to try out any other sort of modules there was an the embedded media field and I looked at Bob's um, podcast on mustard media seed and um, thing that put me off here Look at all these modules that you have to enable to support it. I just wanted something lightweight. I just wanted a field, just one field, just to um, attach to my content type. I didn't want to go hunting around with all this stuff here, but um, it looks good as well. And if you want the mother of media modules, you've got a module called Media. And this has got all the bells and whistles and fireworks and everything to it. But I just wanted a feel, just a feel, just to attach a video to. So going back, and the video embed field gives me that, and it's easy and simple and lightweight. Okay, and um, we're going to be using the color box module, which gives us the pop-up overlay effect with that as well. So it's, it's a nice module. I've used it before. Okay, right. So we'll just scroll on down my site here. And we talk about the modules. I'm just going to highlight the special ones here, just the extra ones that um, I've just installed from the um, previous tutorials. Uh, libraries are needed to support the Colorbox module and make sure it's a version 2 of the libraries module. Don't put version 1, but I believe the release module is version 2 as well. And so you need Colorbox. You need Colorbox plugin, which is the library for Colorbox. So you're going to need to click on this link should take you there and you're going to need to unzip that to your sites or libraries that's where the default location where we stick our libraries and the video embed filter of course are the modules you're going to need okay let's make a start on that okay i'm going to pop over to my um, old site and as you can see some of you have been following the um, the uh, mapping tutorials you'll recognize some of these tabs here so the first thing I'm going to do here is just enable my modules, just to check to see if they've been enabled. So I'm just going to shrink these. Okay, here's the video. When you install the um, video embed embedded filter, video embed filter, you get this um, 
you get this field here. You also get the Facebook one as well. I haven't tried that, haven't looked at that, but I'm only going to select the video embed field. So. And as we mentioned, we're going to be using Colorbox because that's the nice overlay pop out effect just to put our video into. And that's it, just enabling those two. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is go to configuration and media. And I'm just going to refresh my display here. The reason I'm doing this here is so I get my admin menu up here. Hopefully I'll be able to see my media module here. So we can see color box here. And so I'm just going to select color box. And you might not have to do this. In fact, I don't think I need to do this either. But the black overlay doesn't pop up unless I select this. And if you look at this, this is only for um, custom links. Um, I'm not really using a custom link as such. I expect the functionality to work anyway. It's a strange one. Uh, if I get a chance, I'll post it as a query on the color box issues list. So I seem to need to set that both for my Mac and my Debian boxes. So, and I'm going to keep everything else the same here. If we scroll on down here, you'll see you've got all these different styles. I'm just going to use the default one, or actually, I'll use the plain one, which is just a simple black background. You might want to use the default because you're a white background. Try it. Um, so I'm just going to use plain for the style. Keep the options as default and not make any other changes to save that. Okay. Right. Now we can make a, a start on this. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to create a content type. Of course, what can you do with content types? You can attach, associate fields with them. What field are we going to associate with? We're going to use the video embedded field. So let's try that. So we will create our content type. Go to content types, add a content type. I'm just going to call this what video content. And disable most of these settings down here. Now save and add fields. I think you can all guess which field I'm going to Oh, I'm going to delete the body. We don't need that in our video gallery, do we? And add a new field. So I'm just going to call this video embedded. This is not a very good name because it's the actual name of the module, but I can't think of anything else. So right at the very bottom here, we've got the video embed field. Select that and automatically the default, the only setting here for the wid only widget available is video. Save that. Save that. Okay, let's make this required. In other words, you have to, um, if you want to save your content type, you have to have this something in this field. And I'm not going to change anything else. I'm just going to save that. Okay, that's good. Right, next thing I'm going to do is create some content. So if we go to add content, select add content, select on the video content here. Right, so we'll give it a title. Um, well, all I'm going to do is just use the um, embedded links from YouTube for this and then just um, enter that in here and then give it the same title as the tutorial. So I've got my video URL off YouTube, just copy it and paste it here. And this particular one I'm just going to call Geofield Maps and then just save it. It's very straightforward. And as you can see in the content type, node 5 up here, we now have an embedded um, video of um, one of the videos I've recently done. Okay, I'm now going to do the same process just for another couple of videos, just so we can just get more than one, so we can sort of picture, visualize what the album will look like.
Okay, I've now created three content types. Um, basically, no pa uh, con content pages, no pages, with just each one with a YouTube video embedded in here. So that's, that's fine, I've got my data. The next step we'll do is add a view. I'll call this view video. Video gallery view. Okay, and now I'm gonna add a page. Yeah, first thing I'm gonna do is set a, um, a path for that page. I'll just call this videos. And apply that. Okay, then this next step we wanna do is our fantastic video embed filter. Let's add it, we wanna add it into fields. And override that and type video. Here it is here. Apply that. It's going to remove the label. And here's the key parts here. This is um, part of the um, uh, views integration with the video embedded filter that integrates quite nicely. So go to the formatter here. You can see the thumbnail preview with color box. I'm going to select that. So as you can see, it oof, integrates quite nicely. Um, for the video style, you can use a teaser or a normal, or you can create your own styles. I'm just going to keep it as normal. And for the image style, um, you can also create your own ones. These are the default image styles that came with um, your standard D Drupal installation. I'm going to select thumbnail for this. Okay, now apply this. Okay, let's scroll on down and now we can see, if we look up here in our fields, we've got a title and a video embedded field. If we go down here, you can see our title and underneath that, you can see that there's um, the, the videos as well, the embedded, the um, our YouTube videos showing as well. And underneath this, we've also got the names of the Australian cities because we haven't done any filtering yet, so we need to filter out that as well. Okay, so well, let's, let's add a filter. Let's just only view what we want to view. So override that. And I'm going to select content type. Here. I'm going to filter by content type. Apply that. And is one of video content. And apply that. Now go down here now, as you can see, we've only got the content we want to see here, but it's all in a line. What sort of gallery is that all in a single line? I'm going to change the format here. I tend to use grid as a nice one to use for um, things like pictures, videos, that sort of media. Now apply that. Okay, and I'm just going to change the number of columns to two. You can set how many columns you want. So in each column, you're going to have one of your um, videos, basically, for this this tutorial. Now apply that. Okay, now you see we've got the sort of column showing here. So things are starting to look promising. So that uh, I'm sort of happy with the, where that view is at the moment. So save that. Okay. Now, my path is videos, so I just want to create a little menu icon so I can click on my video gallery. So go to menus, main menu, and add a link. So path is videos. And I'll give it the link uh, label of videos. I can just save that. Yep, that's in the correct position. Cut that. Okay, videos has now appeared here. Let's select this tab. Okay, this is looking good. We've got a little um, gallery, and basically, we set our gallery up to have thumbnails of each one of the tutorials here. Um, notice that I haven't done any styling or formatting to look at nice. This is just straight out of the box. So, what happens when we click on one of these links? We get the overlay pop up. And if I press play, it's probably take us a little while. 
and you probably can't hear that um, at the moment. I've got, I think I've got the town, I've got the microphones put in. But um, yeah, one of us is enough. So let's stop that straight away. And so you, you can actually change the outer layer there. As you saw, I changed it from default to plain, something like that. But there's a number of different sort of um, outer layers that you can actually stick on here. So let's just close that here. And same again, if you click on each one of these, um, yeah, you'll get your, your color box overlay popping up with your video. And because we've got the setup and a view and, and all these are content types, you can also, this will also support paging. So you can put as many as you want and you can just uh, s uh, switch across to the next page if need, need be. Okay, so that, that was all for this one. Um, as you can see, there wasn't too much effort. You just had to install a couple more modules and just a bit of um, configuration in uh, the content type, creating the data and setting up your view. And that was basically it. You've got your own video gallery. So you can create your own videos and have your own gallery. You don't actually have to sort of pop along to the big boys like, um, like uh, uh, YouTube and Vimeo and all that. So you can, you can actually create your own ones now. Okay, that's all for this one. Um, if you've got any questions or feedback or anything else you want to say, just pop across to DrupalOverEasy.com. I'll be glad to get your feedback and um, you know, just, just hear people's replies. And that's all for this one. Bye for now.